Hello. It's nice to see you again. Are you ready to learn? For today's lesson, we will learn the characteristics of suspension and colloid. We will also identify the common household suspensions and colloids and their uses. Classify each mixture. Say HOMO if the mixture is an example of homogeneous mixture. And say HETERO if it is an example of heterogeneous mixture. Let's begin. Fruit Salad Hetero Coffee Homo Sandwich Hetero Noodles Hetero Strawberry Smoothie Homo In our previous lesson, we learn about solution. Solution is made up of solute and solvent. Solute is the substance that dissolves, while solvent is the substance that is used to dissolve solute. Now let's experiment. For our first experiment, prepare a clear glass of water and cooking oil. What do you think will happen if we mix them? Let's see. What type of mixture did we form? Now, let's go to our second experiment. Prepare five scoops of powdered milk and a clear glass of water. What do you think will happen to the powdered milk if you mix it with water? Let's see. What type of mixture did we form? Let's elaborate. The mixture of oil and water is an example of suspension. Suspension is a heterogeneous mixture that contains larger particles that settle out when left undisturbed. In our first experiment, the mixture of oil and water formed a layer. The oil didn't dissolve in water, because it has large particles. Moreover, the oil settled at the top because it is less dense than water. Another example is the mixture of sand and water. The sand didn't dissolve in water, because it has large particles. And when left undisturbed, the sand settled at the bottom, because it is denser than water. The mixture of powdered milk and water is an example of colloid. Colloid is also a heterogeneous mixture. Its substances are mixed but not chemically combined because they could still be separated. It is made up of small particles of ingredients. Note that the size of the particles of colloid is smaller than suspension, but bigger than solution. It can be in solid, liquid and gaseous form. Let's go back to our second experiment. It appears like a homogeneous mixture but, if you observe its particles under a microscope, you can distinguish its particles. Therefore, it's a heterogeneous mixture. Another example is the air and dust. When a beam of light passes through, you can clearly see the dust particles floating in the air. 
For us to easily identify the classification of mixture, let us direct a beam of light through each mixture. First is the solution. Solution particles are very small. It dissolves in water. Its particles don't scatter light, so we don't see the path of light. In colloid, the particles are bigger than solutions. Its particles are suspended. Its particles scatter light. The effect of scattering light is called Tyndall effect. Now in suspension. The particles are bigger than colloids. They can be seen by the naked eyes. It doesn't dissolve in water. Its particles also scatter light. The light reflects and makes the particles visible. However, after some time, its particles settle down. So the Tyndall effect may not be observed anymore. Now let's talk about the uses of suspensions and colloids. There are different uses of suspension. We can see suspension when we build houses, roads, and buildings. This is when water is mixed with sand or gravel. Most of the food we eat is an example of suspension too. Like paella, hollow hollow, peanut butter, and many more. In food preparations, like the rice and water, and water and flour. Our favorite condiments, like the vinegar and pepper, and soy sauce and garlic. Antibiotic syrup are examples of suspension used for medicine. Other suspensions are used for decorations like aquariums. Uses of colloids. Mayonnaise. Gelatin. Whipped cream. Butter cheese, and icing are examples of colloids used for food or food preparation. Other colloids can also be used as cleaning agents like soap, shampoo, and detergent. Others are also used for personal grooming like toothpaste and lotion. There are colloids for protective and decorative functions like paint. Now, let's remember. Suspension is a mixture that contains larger particles that settle out when left undisturbed. Its uses are for building structures, in food and food preparations, in medicine, and for decorations. On the other hand, colloid is also a heterogeneous mixture. It is made up of small particles of ingredients. Its uses are in food and food preparations, as cleaning agents, for personal grooming, and for decorations. Now, let me see if you understood the lesson. Read each statement and choose the letter of the correct answer. 1. What kind of mixture is formed when you make an icing by beating an egg white? A. Solution B. Colloid C. Suspension D. Homogeneous 2. What happens when flour is mixed with water and left undisturbed? A. It cannot be distinguished from the water B. Its particles are scattered in the water C. It settled at the bottom of the container. D. It is on top of the water. 3. Which of the following statement is true when light passes through a suspension? A. The light becomes invisible. B. The light has no effect on the mixtures. C. The light reflects and makes the particles visible. D. The light bounces back in the particles of the mixture. 4. 
What happens when light passes through a colloid? A. The light scatters. B. The light disappears. C. The light reflects its true color. D. The light is invisible. 5. Which of them would not form a suspension when mixed? A. Rock and water. B. Soil and oil. C. Soy sauce and garlic. D. Milk and water. Here are the answers. Number 1 is B. Number 2 is C. Number 3 is C. Number 4 is A. Number 5 is D. Congratulations! You can now identify the characteristics of suspension and colloid and their uses. See you in our next lesson. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to click the like button, share this video to your friends, and subscribe to my channel.